Does he have AC? That is a question. He does. And he has AC. Maybe you can do that so on So you oh, even oh. have AC. Welcome back this week. This is episode eight, season two. I'm Renzo Rosato. And I'm Gaston Rosato. And we're here to review this beautiful 95 993 C2 Porsche. But not any 993. This is a Rockwell McGrath, better known as the RWB. We want to know what is RWB? How do you make your car RWB? What does it cost to make it? And what does it do to the value of your car? Let's find out. Let's find out. But before we find out, hit that subscribe button for us and let's kick it off with the drive. So we're sitting on Sparco buckets. Right, right that were rear upholstered uh, with the hound tooth design. Yeah. With the gold, black, and white to go along with the car. Which is a tribute to the old race cars that use these type of upholsteries in the tan color, which is the original to the car. <laughs> this has a nice power delivery, very smooth. Wow. Very smooth. Transmission feels nice because it's actually an upgraded from the turbo. So it's a factory transmission. Factory transmission, but it's upgraded from the regular C2. Right. drivability of the car. So much modification, both cosmetically and performance. Well, I feel like I'm not sacrificing anything. This is just the car drives, handles. Well, we know that, that Ralph, the owner of the car, is actually taking this car on the track. He drives it. That's what I love about it. Yes. The car is not a show queen. It's not a trailer queen. It's a driver. It's a driver car. He yeah. uses it daily. He goes, why am I gonna buy it and not drive it, right? Yeah. So thank God for that. You wanna switch? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta drive this car. All right, he brings up. We're back from that incredible drive. Make no mistake, it's a Porsche, but it's a full tuner car. The car was purchased by Ralph with the idea to make it an RWB. It had to be white. He sourced the right car, said, I want to make it RWB. That's right. Let's do it. Put the money on the table. <laughs> it paid big bucks. We're going to find out what that was in just a little bit.
RWB is from the founder Akira Nakai, and he is a Japanese tuner. He focuses on the body, the suspension, and that's about it. So it's all cosmetic. It's not just cosmetic work, because he does do some suspension adjustments if you like. It's a very personalized thing. Yeah. He likes to sit down with the owners a lot of times and talk about what they want and what they need. Yeah, so I understand that he's an artist. He's 100% He's a master artist. builder. All by eye, he shows up with one little briefcase. All right, by the way, guys, this is Miami build number three. That's right, and he actually names all his builds. So this one's called the Yukino Hana, which means snow flower. Let's talk about some of the mods, Renzo. Let's, let's, do it. let's walk forward and understand what this build is all about. These are 1552 Outlaw wheels. But even more importantly, these were the first set to ever be built with the concave design. These tires. Yeah. Okay. 325. No, there's 335. 335s. 335s. That's right. My God, they're Look at huge, this. massive tires. I, I can't, can't yeah. even get my nail in there. <laughs> That's insane. So we're right here already. You're going to notice that the brakes are updated. These are Sparta brakes, which is, I think, needed for the amount of horsepower this car is producing. Which is how much? 370 horsepower to the wheel. And that's produced by what? That is produced by the supercharger that it has on it. Factory 3.6 flat 6 with a supercharger. Unbelievable. Moving on to the, the build, of course. Fenders, tail, bumpers, sure. side skirts, quarter panel, all that is part of the build. So the tail you mentioned is a duck tail. And that's actually, the owner got that afterwards. He had originally gotten the GT2 tails that you usually see on a lot of these builds. Yeah, they're more aggressive, they're larger. More aggressive. You like the clean look. Yeah, which I think is a great touch to the car. Also, aftermarket aluminum front lid. Yes. All right, the bonnet is aluminum. Signed by Magnus Walker. Pretty cool touch there as well. This bottom lip, I always wonder, they're so low, how do you get around? Yes. Well, it's just a rubber piece that folds real nice that reads something in German here, you Which, guys can give it a shot, <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you what it means. Like all those cool cars, so mechanical, you can see everything here, and not like our last video, we opened up the, the back and you all you see is a fan. Two fans, so 370 horsepower to the wheel, and you feel it. You feel the power transition, it's not like the turbo cars that we've driven before. With the legs, yeah. So what does it cost to have an RWB build? What does it cost, guys? You wanna say, I want RWB. Well, first of all, what do you gotta do to do it, right? Exactly. You gotta reach out, usually through an associated shop, friend, or you can go to the website directly and coordinate that with him. But again, two year wait and you pay up front. So this car is about three years old. All right, back then it was $20,000. They will ship over the pieces to you, the side skirts, the fenders, the bumpers, but they weren't painted. No, they were just bare. You had to get it painted to the color of your car. So when he arrived, he was able to start the work. Exactly. So back then it was $20,000. Allegedly now it's gone up a little bit. Exactly. It's not just the money, guys. It's the time you have to wait, plus all the modifications you got to do to the car, right? Because we're not including tires, suspension, engine work, supercharged, engine. all the other personable <laughs> items that you want to add to it. Gaton, so how does this build, this RW build, affect the value of this car? So that's a very important question, right? Because when you mod a car, usually the price comes down, exactly. especially if you're cutting into original fenders and things like that. Then there's the other side of it. The exclusivity of this guy, he flies in, he does your car, he only can do a handful a year because he's the only one that does it. Exactly. The price goes up, and then we've seen him vary between $150,000 to $250,000. All right, guys, this wraps up this week's video. I hope you guys enjoy it because I know I did. What a car. You know, when you buy RWB, you're buying into an exclusive club, exactly. only a couple in the world. So we want to thank you, Ralph, again for the opportunity and allowing us to drive this car, share this car with the rest of the world, the Miami car culture. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, all the links down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button, that's really important to us, guys. We'll see you here next week for another video. I'm Renzo Rosato. And I'm Gaston Rosato. Thanks Peace for watching. Out.